Yo. As you uh, probably know by now, Matthews has released a new bow, and uh, it's that time of year. Every year they release a new flagship, and I had the Vertex last year and loved it, so I figured, let's go shoot this thing. But uh, before that, here's some slow-mo shots of me uh, shooting the Vertex, so enjoy. I came from the mud, there's dirt on my hands, strong like a tree, there's roots where I stand, oh I've been running from the law, try to catch me howling at the moon. Headed to the bow shop. I've already kind of made a decision. This thing is not better than what I've been shooting. I may or may not pick one up. You know, every year these bow manufacturers are making incremental increases to these products, and every year I'm a little skeptical if they're actually worth, you know, going after. I'm gonna see what this thing's like. All right, I just shot the uh, new Matthews and it is awesome. Uh, I couldn't leave there without getting one, so I got one in the back. Uh, let's go home and uh, see what this baby can do. Woo! All right, so here's the brand new 2020. Oh, wait, okay. That's the... Here's the brand new 2020 Matthews. Oh, okay. Let's wait. Um... Okay, here it is, Matthews XR. how she shoots. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do with this bow is I've gotta put a, um, just a temporary sight on it. I'm gonna get a movable sight. Um, probably gonna order a Spot Hog Fast Eddy. I'm running the Black Gold Ascent, Verdict Ascent on my um, Verdix, and I've loved that sight. Uh, I just wanna try something different going into this next year. So um, basically the first thing I'm gonna do is put on, I have, Spot hog here, which is uh, a great little fixed five pin. So I think I'll put this on and then should be able to zero this thing, uh, at least with this and get some arrows through it. It's, I shot it a few times at the shop, um, but I really liked it. So uh, let's put this thing on and see what we can do. Now, one thing I want to mention here is that my pro had already set this up at the shop. So he installed the integrated rest and timed it as well as installed a peep and paper tuned the bow. So this thing was uh, shooting great before I even showed up. This year I'm going with the Victory VAP TKOs. I'm also shooting them just with the standard blazer beans they come with and the regular outsert.
right, before I get into my initial feedback, I do just want to say I'm coming at this from the perspective of an avid hunter and someone who shot bows for the last 20 some years. Um, I'm by no means, you know, a champion shooter or an expert on the subject, but I just, um, I do love archery hunting and I do love um, shooting archery. So uh, the VXR um, for me was just that much better than the Verdicts and that much better than the Triax and I'll tell you why. Uh, number one, I like the fact that we now have a, uh, two options with the 28 and the 31 and a half in the VXR. I went with the 28 because I loved the Triax. I just love that smaller ADA. I, I like it for spot and stock, uh, moving. Some guys like it for getting up and down out of a tree stand. I don't do a ton of tree stand hunting. I'm more Western spot and stock, but um, I really did like that they brought back the smaller um, platform. I also like um, that they have this grip. Uh, I had a Triax, and then once I got the Verdicts, I realized how awesome this torqueless grip was. So that's, again, my personal opinion. Additionally, I like the fact in the VXR that they include the integrated rest. I've been running this on my Verdix for the last year, and I really like this rest. Um, I love how the dovetail just fits in. It's super clean, built in just for the bow. Um, I really like that. Also, the, the technology in the riser, I read that they included, um, that they moved over some technology from in the riser from the target bows and i can tell a difference when i hold this thing it just feels that much more stable i don't even have a stabilizer on here yet yes i'm going to put one on i'm thinking about doing a quiverizer um, but that being said without it i didn't even think it needed it at 20 yards so um, the bow is that much more stable than the verdicts and you know they're not advertising that it's um quieter but i swear it is quieter the 28 to me just felt right uh, the 31 and a half had a little more vibration in the hand, um, but I'm sure that you know with a couple accessories it, it would it would be gone. And when I say a little bit, I mean like ever so slight. So, anyways, I'm not uh, a big fan of long axle to axle um, bows, and I just didn't need to go to the 31 and a half. I've shot the Verdicts for the last year and felt like I could definitely go back. Also for this year, Matthews has built this. Uh, silent connect system. I thought that was pretty cool. It's not that big of a deal for me. Um, I have never ever run a sling or um, didn't feel the need to have a little, you know, knob built onto uh, a piece of paracord to pull your bow up in a tree. I mean, I just take paracord cord, loop it around, tie a quick knot, climb up in the tree and pull it up. Um, in fact, sometimes I've had you know, bow on my pack as I climb the tree. So that being said, it's, I mean, it's cool. It's not, um, you know, necessarily wasn't a decision maker in me buying the bow, um, but I'm sure a lot of guys would like it. So anyways, overall, I think it's a great bow. I think uh, if you're on the edge and you're looking for um, a new archery option, I think I'd definitely go check this out and shoot it. All right, so probably the last and final thing that I would have to say um, about the new Matthews VXR would be this new finish and especially this new color. I mean, this color is awesome. Uh, for those of you that know me, you know that I am an aesthetics person. I like uh, the way things look. And um, not only this color, but the finish seems different um, than both my verdicts and my triax, it, it looks a little rougher, almost in a way. It has a little more grit to it, and it seems like it will just hold and wear better. Um, I've heard that um, it will, and, that, and some of the testing that they've done on it uh, will, will in fact wear a little bit better. But this color is just awesome. This new green color is just so cool. So, all right, well, that about wraps it up for this vlog. Uh, I just wanna leave you with one thing, and that is, if you're on a stock, slow down, Make a count, because it's game on. Peace. Alright, I'll leave you guys with some of my favorite photos from the field this year. Make sure you like and subscribe as well.